Hi guys, this is Aaron from Weinkult, and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. But today we're talking about the 2020 Botijo Blanco from Bodegas Frontonio. But first, make sure to hit that like button uh, to celebrate beautiful, high acidity Spanish wines. This is a single estate Granacha Blanca, straight from the garage of Valdejalón in Northeast Spain. Uh, this is limited production wine, meaning it, it may not ever see a repeat vintage, so we're very lucky to get it. Master of Wine Fernando Mora and his partner, Mario Lopez, make wines with just the absolute minimum of fuss. Uh, the La Celles Vineyard, where this wine was sourced from, is owned by Mario's family and was leased to the local cooperative for 40 years until Mario and Fernando ultimately decided to start tinkering in their garage. The vineyard is named after the ancient clay drinking water container, still used today, to cool water in Spain's hot, dry climate. This wine is pure organic Grenache Blanca, made from hand-picked vines from a dry-farmed, certified organic vineyard with 25-year-old vines, belonging, as I said before, to Mario's family. Very little has really been done to control or adulterate the maturity of the wine itself. Uh, wild yeast for primary fermentation, stainless steel tanks for aging, uh, all of that was done to really ensure that nothing extra was brought into the process. This wine is as native to its region as you get. Grenache Blanca can tend to be on the heavy oxidative side, but with meticulous care in the vineyard, harvesting early, and non-interventional approaches within the winery itself, uh, Botijo Blanco has really coaxed out the more vibrant citrus side of the varietal. This wine received a heavy dose of batonage, which is stirring of the lees or the yeast, if you will, which creates a fuller body mouthfeel. Uh, I just love this wine with things like roast chicken or truly anything that has some weight to it, like swordfish even, if you wanna try that in the realm of fish, with preserved lemons and capers or something like a seafood paella. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.